This episode's FDR shoutout goes to Miranda Valchio. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. What's up, Cory Gangfish fam? How you guys doing? Uh, uh, what? What's this? Why, it's a microphone. <laughs> Your boy out here finally learned how to use a microphone. Yes, it's plugged in. Yes, I made sure double time that it's plugged in and it's working. I can see it in Audacity right now. It's working. Yo, let's get a like for your boy finally learning how to use a darn mic after all these years. And this is also a pat on the back for you guys for sticking with me this whole time through all my audio failures and just oh man that was a time yo did you know that the merch dropped because it dropped and it's up to you guys to catch it a few of you have already ordered your merch and I have also ordered a sample but when it comes make sure to put that on pose right next to your fish tank and send it in through an email or DM me on Instagram I'll feature it on FTR CSR something the Threadfin Rainbows were pitted against the Garnerai Killifish. You guys voted, and the Garnerai Killifish swooped in and batted out the rainbows. Stay tuned for your chance to vote next time. No way. Yo, they're actually playing soccer. This is amazing. That is so cute. Oh man. Yo, there's a fog machine too? Oh, that's, that's a really cool perspective there. Goal! <laughs> Dang, scored! Wow, Messi represent, let's go. Dang, this is really cool. Um, I don't know about how big that tank is. I don't know if it necessarily take care of all these Ranchu or Lionhead, I'm not sure what these goldfish are. Obviously they're not playing soccer, they don't know what's happening, but the shot was taken at just the right time where they're pecking at the ball and just so happened one of the goldfish scored. But I love the fog machine, I love that the field is green, I hope that it's live plants. Um, I have my doubts, it's probably not. I also really hope that this tank is actually big enough so that this is, you know, somewhat legit. But I did enjoy that, that was cool. Hashtag no filter. <laughs> uh, get it? No filter, huh? No, like the filter. Yeah, you get it. This is what a fish tank looks like before it puts on makeup. But it does look like there's a whole bunch of live plants in there and a carpet going. It's just got a massive, massive algae bloom. I don't necessarily know if this tank doesn't have a filter because it could always be hang on the back. The algae is too thick for me to really confirm that. Do a water change once in a while, bro. Worth a lot of money, hurry, call now. <laughs> I have a nice fish tank that doesn't take up too much room. Oh no. Well, it would be good if uh, if you didn't have an arowana in it. What in the world? Very compact setup for kids and students and fish enthusiasts. I know for a fact that kids should not own an arowana. Let's not start that debate, cause you won't win. Very rare silver arowana fish too. Anything to do with very rare item or animal and kids should have it or maybe even students that's a bad combination strong and healthy and eats pellets so easier to care for all right put some of those goldfish pellets in for this guy yeah that's all that's all it needs right worth a lot of money only 150 for all now i know why it's like hurry call now it's because he wants the money this fish is gonna die soon he wants it off his hands uh, average rice farmer from the fft discord meme channel how some people keep their tanks how chris keeps his tanks so that's a screenshot of when i slapped that neon blue one gallon fish tank away from the table. I do recommend that video for you guys. I'm pretty proud of that video. It's called You Suck At Fish Tanks and I was inspired by You Suck At Cooking. It's kind of in the same style. It's called You Suck At Fish Tanks. Search it up on my channel. You will enjoy it. I enjoyed this meme though. This book at my school library. Oh man. If you do not have room for a big fish tank, think about getting a fish bowl. Ugh. No, if you do not have room for a fish tank, think about what kind of fish can fit in a bowl, which is no fish. Unless you get like a 5 to 10 gallon bowl, but that's a really big bowl. Don't make your fish fit the tank. Fish fam, what are we up against here? It's even in the library books to do this. We've got our work cut out for us. This meme is sent from Ben Blassing Karami, one of our mods. When Chris stocks up for the lockdown. <laughs> the coronavirus lockdown. I'm sure you guys know about that now. Okay, Ben, first of all, I'm not a lady, I. Right? Second of all, do you see anything wrong with the items that I got? 
would I get those items? The actual answer is yes, I would buy them out so that nobody can get them. Is this a good tank? It's my first time keeping fish. Adding live plants to it, it's a 15 gallon tank. Now let's see what the comments say before I make a statement. Cory Gang writes this. It is a good tank. You will have happy fishies. However, the fish would prefer live plants. If you want to try live plants, try one or two java fern and one to two anubias. The light is good for the plants. Wow, this is pretty much what I would have said. I'm so proud of this guy. Whoever Cory Gang is, yo, let me know who you are. You are repping the FFT community so well. So proud of you, dude. This is amazing. When I stumbled upon this comment, it just made my day. David Naumov sent in this tank. Very interesting, you got a stink pot and musk turtle in there and you got a whole bunch of fish. Very different opinions on whether that should be or not, but hey, if it works long term and there's no fatalities either way, that's pretty cool. You got a basking spot for the turtle. Just watch out for some of those plants. I see there might be some Anubias with their rhizomes stuck into the substrate. Never have that because those plants don't like their rhizomes buried. I also wanted a musk turtle before, so I did some research, and during that research, I did see that it was fairly compatible with some of the other fish, so let me know in the comments below what you guys think, but don't give this guy too much heat, all right? It looks like he's trying his best here. It's gonna be a hard tank to rate because you know, it's really off the norm. But let me give it a 4.2. Really great effort here. Elise Green sent in this tank. Ooh, this is pretty interesting. Um, I find it not the best idea to put just vertically standing up uh, pieces of wood, but you kind of made it work here. I see you've been trying to attach Java ferns onto it. That's a good idea. You've not overstocked by any means. You got one centerpiece angel. It's gonna get bigger though, so you gotta keep that in mind. You have a neon tetra or two in there, so it's gonna get a little bit dangerous for them once the angel gets bigger. The scape is all right. I would like to see more plants in the back, of course, and just a less messier hardscape. But for me, I'm giving it a four out of five for now. Good job. This tank is sent in by Gabriela Alvarez. First thing I notice is the Inception fish bowl. What are you trying to be Serpa design? Just kidding, it looks really cool actually. You got some really chunky albino quarries. I think that's a betta. I hope that betta is not giving the quarries too much of a rough time. Betta and betta are all different, so it really depends on which kind of personality you have. But I do like this concept. Now the backdrop is a natural planted backdrop, but it's still not real. So I would like to see some real plants in the back. Not the worst thing, but you know, to hide the heater, hide the filter and make everything look more natural. Again, you did that inception tank fairly well. You put it off. 4.1 out of 5. Keep it up. This tank is sent in by Jithu Jebu. <laughs> Come on guys, throw me a bone here. This is actually pretty great. It's got strong hardscape features. Uh, it's not pulling any punches there. Also with the floaters up top, the roots are very dense. That creates a really nice look. Not overstocked at all. You got some live plants here and there. Maybe recommend a carpet. I'm not sure about the rocks. They don't seem to be from like the similar sort of place. It always looks better when your rocks all kind of look the same, but with different textures. Like Oko Stone, you get a lot of different textures, but they're all the same color, the same sort of type. Now I know you guys are gonna say, Oko Stone fanboy, back at it again. Hey man, I've been using Seiru Stone, so what you gotta say now? 4.3 out of 5, keep it up, bro. This is the worst I've ever seen. They squeezed a baby betta into that tiny hole, and now the rescuer is trying to figure out how to break the glass to get the adult fish out. What in the world? Number one, why? where did they find such a bowl? What is the purpose of this bowl if the hole was gonna be that small? Like, what, what would you put in it? Just, what is the purpose? Having said that, the scape looks very interesting. And how did they get anything in this? How did they get the branches in there? That's the worst part is by far that they put a baby betta in there when it would still fit naturally. What did you think was gonna happen? Also, how do you do your water changes? A gravel vac is too thick to be put in that hole. Do you like tilt the whole bowl every time you gotta do a water change? You know how hard that is on the betta? Man, I don't know how you're gonna rescue this fish. I'm glad you're taking up the challenge and doing what's right. But yeah, I, I hope for the best for this. I hope the betta survives whatever is to come. This tank is sent in by Calais Shavers. Now it's got like an Asian sort of theme going on and the Dumbo variant of the betta fish really seals the deal. Definitely looks like a person with like an Asian dress or something on. Blowy sort of deal. Now of course it's not very natural to put those decoration in the tank but you know what? 
it's fine. You like it because it's in your tank and that's all that matters. You got a good substrate, it looks like fluval stratum, represent. Got some nice beginner plants here and there. I would recommend that you use more natural hardscapes and also fill up the tank a little more with live plants, but that's just me. And my rating is 3.8, keep it up. My laser sent in this tank. I'm a fire in my laser. Wow, it's like a compact tank filled to the brim with live plants. This is definitely up my alley. You got a crypt growing real tall. See, crypts can stay small, but they can shoot up as well. It really depends on lighting and nutrient levels. From what I can see here, very understocked. There might be just like one sunset guppy in there. Got floater plants, got a whole bunch of different plants in there too. Not sure what that, I don't know, tubing thing looks like there. Uh, not a big fan, but still pretty good. Needs a bit more hardscaping here and there. I think it'd look really good with some spider wood or manzanita wood added in amongst those leaves. I like the clean rimless look, very nice. Give it a 4.3 out of five, keep it up. Hello darkness, my old friend. Yes, hello. Aquaponics 101 failure. And these two boys don't look too happy with what they did now, do they? I'm just kidding, they probably have no idea that they're wrong. They're probably very proud of themselves, just like their mothers are, just like their stupid teacher is. The teacher's the only one here that's stupid, by the way. You're a teacher. Don't teach them to abuse fish. Don't put the barf gravel and then trap them in a Coke sort of two liter bottle and call it aquaponics. I mean, it's a great idea, but those poor fish though, those are lives. Okay, boomer. <laughs> now, how many of you actually get what the heck this picture is? This is back in the day when filters were very popular when they were under the gravel. Yes, under gravel filtration. Can you imagine that? My first tank had under gravel filtration. Such a nice fish meme because it's like, okay, boomer, because only boomer age people know about the one does not simply still use under gravel filters. <laughs> Damn it, yo, let it go, bro. We we stopped doing that, all right? There's there's no more, there's no more of those. Comment below if you still have an under gravel filter. I'd be very surprised. Yo, guys, you know what it is. It's the end of the video. And for those of you who are still here, personal thanks because, you know, you're driving this video to YouTube algorithms and sharing it with other people because YouTube thinks that you guys like my videos and I tend to think that as well. Hopefully that's the case. So thank you so much for staying this whole way. And how can you not? I mean, you're gonna miss my world famous outro. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet.